Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina K Designs and welcome back to another 5 minute cards video. Today I'm going to be making a tag and I'm going to show you how to do the double stencil technique using two of my favorite new colors, the light lilac and the medium lilac. To begin, you're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures about six, six inches by six inches. Now you can do something smaller, but I wasn't sure where I wanted to cut it. So I decided to just stencil the whole thing. And I've tacked that down onto my mat on my Misty. Now I'm using the Stellar Snowflake stencil. This is one of my favorites for the holidays, and I'm going to put that right over the center of that cardstock and tack it down using a little bit of washi tape. I'm going to start with the light lilac, and I'm going to ink blend all over that. I'm not real worried about shading. I just want to get that color down on there. So there might be some light parts and some darker parts, but that's okay. That actually enhances the whole look of this technique. Now once that's done, I'm going to use the square mandala stencil. I'm lining it up in the center, at the top, and at the bottom. If it's not perfect, you really won't notice, but try to get it kind of centered because this stencil is also very symmetrical and it gives a really neat look to this double stencil technique. I'm going to tack this down with washi tape as well, just making sure it's straight. And then once that's done, I'm going to use the medium lilac ink. I love this color and you can see how deep and vibrant it is compared to the light lilac. They work so well together for layered stencils, layered stamping, and this double stencil technique. So once I have that ink worked through the entire stencil, then it's time to peel and reveal. I'm going to peel off that square mandala first and then I'm going to peel off the Stellar Snowflake. And look at the beautiful pattern left behind. So my next step is to cut this out, and I'm using one of the dies from the Tag Trio die set. I'm going to cut it out right about here. Now if it's not perfect, that's fine, but I'm trying to make sure I have that little dot right there by the little hole for the tag intact because I'm going to add a little bling. Now, if you don't have a tag die, you can cut this just by cutting a strip of it and then angling the edges. All right, so now it's time to add a little bit of bling. And what's so nice about the Stellar Snowflake is all of the bling spots are built into the design. So I'm adding some bling on all those little pre-designed circles. I'm using some of the disco ball sequins for this, but you can use rhinestones, pearls, metallic pearls, whatever you want. And then once that's done, I'm going to add a greeting that I cut out using our holiday sentiment strips, and I cut it out using our sentiment strips dies. I'm going to adhere that with a little bit of Gina K Designs adhesive dot runner. And then my final step is to add some cording. Now all I have is this gold cording. I really wish I had silver cording. I think it would look so much better. And that's on my list for next holiday season. But this looks pretty and I think it's gonna look great on a bottle of wine or a bag of cookies. So there's my finished tag. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's five minute card video and I hope you'll give this double stenciled tag a try. Stay tuned to my channel for more five minute card videos and more stamp and chat videos too. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you again real soon.